Today we're going to look at SCMP. SCMP is a third party multiplayer modification for the game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. SCMP stands for of course San Andreas Multiplayer. Before you get this be sure to downgrade your game. I have a video on it at the top right if you need it. Also be sure to install the essentials pack from there as it is required but it also helps the game be more stable. Whenever you're done with that, download SCMP. When you download it, be sure to get the client rather than the server. The client is basically this, which is the server browser. Only download the server if you want to actually host servers. Now run the file, and during this installation, you'll be installing SCMP into your game's main directory. Now run SCMP.exe. Set your name at the top, and then head to Tools, Settings, and set your game's path there. You can then join a server by simply clicking on a server and then right-clicking it and clicking Connect, or click on a server and then click the Connect button. By default, you can't run SMP from Steam, so let's fix that. Download this launcher, open the file, and then put the gta-sa.exe file into your game's main directory and replace when you're asked to. Now, of course, make sure your SMP's location is actually where your GTA SA Steam location is. To make sure of this, right-click the game on Steam, click Properties, Local Files, and then Browse, and this is where your SMP should be located. Now you should be able to run it from Steam. You'll get this little screen, just click the icons to run whatever you want. The left one is San Andreas, the middle one is SMP, and the right one is MTA. When you run it from Steam, you can also use the overlay, take screenshots, all that, it's functional. After this, you can delete GTA-SA-Steam if you want, because it can cause confusion. Before this video ends, I suggest using SMB Grass and SMB Graphic Restore. SMB Grass adds back the grass from the single player, and SMB Graphic Restore makes EMBs more compatible with SMP, but it also fixes some bugs regarding sky graphics and this parachute bug where there's no proper texture.